Wow, it seems like we literally just had Christmas yesterday and here we are already approaching the season of Lent. Ash Wednesday, time for these violet vestments to come out is just around the corner. And of course it being 2021, Ash Wednesday might look a little bit different this year. So I kind of want to take a moment to talk a little bit about that. First, let's talk about the symbolism of ashes and, and where this comes from. We see ashes mentioned in the Old Testament quite frequently as a sign of repentance, as a sign of even mourning in some cases. For example, we hear that Job, after he experienced such great loss, clothed himself in, in sackcloth and rolled in ashes. We also hear about one biblical figure in the book of 2 Samuel, Tamar, who she just had a very tragic life, had gone through a serious assault herself and was in a, in a, in a period of almost mourning herself. And it talks about her sprinkling ashes on her head. She sprinkled them on her head. And, and liturgically, the use of ashes has been around for a long time and, and, and it was used in the order of the catechumens. A lot of times for Christians who were preparing to be baptized as a sign of their coming into the church, of their sign of their repenting the old ways, right? Because what is ashes? It's things that we burn. So it, reckon, it, it recognizes an end, an end to one thing and a beginning to another. And so liturgically, we've been using ashes in the order of the catechumens and then later on in the order of penitence. So what happened was people in the old church, if you sin seriously, those mortal sins, you had to confess those sins to the bishop in front of everyone. And then you'd have to go through a period of, of mourning, of fasting and prayer. And this is actually where Lent comes from. And so you'd sit outside the church wearing sackcloth and, and again, ashes on your head as a sign that you were repenting. So the ashes are symbolic of our own repentance. Now, in the earliest centuries of the church, from what we can see, ashes were administered by being sprinkled on the person's head. In the last few centuries, we saw an evolution happen in the English-speaking world, and really only in the English-speaking world, because in Europe, it was still very common to have ashes sprinkled over people's heads. Still is very common for that to occur on Ash Wednesday. We're not quite sure where the mark of the cross on the forehead originated. Some people say it might have Celtic origins in Ireland or might have Sarum origins in England. But I will say it is a recent innovation. And I think that's important for us to understand because Ash Wednesday is going to look a little bit different this year in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Remember, we want to prevent touching each other as much as possible, especially in large crowds like we often have on Ash Wednesday. So this year, for Ash Wednesday, the priest or the person who's giving you ashes will be wearing a mask and they'll say the words, remember you are dust and to dust you shall return to everyone in general. And then we'll all come forward and we'll have ashes sprinkled on the top of our head. And I, I actually kind of like this, to be perfectly honest with you, because it always seemed kind of antithetical to me that we have this beautiful gospel on Ash Wednesday when Jesus says, when you pray, go into your closet, you know, kind of don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And then everyone shows up, everyone shows up on Ash Wednesday to get the big gigantic cross on their forehead to walk out the church and show everyone, all right, here I am, I'm fasting. Rather, as, as the way we're kind of being forced to kind of go back to an earlier practice right now reminds us that the ashes are just an outward symbol of the repentance the Lord is calling us to in our heart in this Lenten season. So we invite you to join us here at St. Elizabeth Seton in Naples or at any of the parishes in, here in our Diocese of Venice or throughout the world to celebrate the beauty of the Lord's cross and resurrection as we reclaim our baptismal identity as daughters and sons of God during this Lenten season with this beautiful symbolic gesture of receiving ashes as a reminder that one day everything that's in this world is going to pass, is going to burn, is going to be gone. But the love of Christ alone last eternally.